The Anti-Corruption Commission says the appointment of additional judges at the High Court will speed up the prosecution process of corruption cases in the kingdom. We have a report. Last year, from the speech from the throne, His Majesty King Mswati III spoke very strongly against corruption and that all corrupt individuals should be brought to book. This year, His Majesty noted the improvement that has been done in the fight against this disease in the kingdom. His Majesty said all assets gained through corrupt means should be recovered. We spoke to the Anti-Corruption Commission to find out how ready are they for the challenge ahead. One of the challenges that were there were the shortage of judges of the High Court. This impacted negatively on our work because you would find that we have so many cases but you will find that people are out on bail and the cases are going in in courts in a trickle. Um, this time around after the King's pronouncement we are sure that um, with the addition of judges such challenges will be um, will be taken care of and our cases will be going in it's not just corruption cases also commercial crime cases will also see the light of day so we are very happy with his majesty's um, speech um, and also um, his majesty touched on asset recovery Asset recovery is a very important aspect of fighting corruption and other um, organized crime. Um, the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, which Swaziland ratified in 2012, provides that um, all countries that have ratified can now have their assets forfeited back to their states which means that we have a good opportunity as a country to get assets that are stashed in, in, in offshore accounts to back to the state. So we do thank His Majesty for that. And for us as a commission and other stakeholders who are in the justice value chain, um, this for us is a challenge to say, let us pick up ourselves and uh, do more training on asset tracing and ensure that whatever people that are convicted um, have stashed somewhere, they must return those assets to the state. For Swazi TV News, I'm LinkedIn Gule in Babane.